This program was made possible in part by a grant from the UCF Department of Music, training tomorrow's performers today. I'm going to be asking the four students singing to be open to try things and be creative. For the other singers that are observing, please um, be welcoming in your uh, emotion towards them because it's very difficult. Uh, singing opera is one of the most difficult things you can do. Um, I'm going to ask some things of you. And the, the great thing about a master class situation is different than a coaching because you have the added pressure of an audience and you have to deal with that and it's a very vital part of growing and, and it takes forever. By the time you figure it out, you're going to be retired on a fishing boat somewhere <laughs> and you'll say, aha! <laughs> but until then, it's a process of acquiring tools so you will learn how to learn for yourself so that you can become self-sufficient when you leave an institution, when you leave a program, when you leave an opera, and when you leave your own practice room so that you can continue your journey of self-discovery and try to do what the composer asked. Liebchen hat gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint. Lohn es ihr durch tausend Küsse, mag ihr auch durch Leben süße. Sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Freund. Tralalera, 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 tralalera. Doch sie treu sich zu erhalten, schließe Liebchen sorglich ein. Denn die losen Dinge raschen, jeden Schmerzling und naschen. Gar zu gern von fremdem Wein, gar zu gern von fremdem Wein, von fremdem Wein. Tralalera, 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 tralalera. Sonderlich beim Mondenscheine, Freunde, nimm sie wohl in Acht. Auf Lasch da ein junges Herrchen, gönn so tut das kleine Nerchen. Und dann treue gute Nacht, und dann treue gute Nacht, gute Nacht. Tralalera, 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 tralalera. Okay, um, without getting into too much detail about specifics, one sentence summary of what's happening right now. Um, I'm talking about women in general. The first verse is kind of a happy, playful verse, and then as it goes on, he kind of gets more and more angry. Why does he get angry? Because he is so used to the fickle ways of women, I guess you could say. Yeah, and he sees all these women around. Right. And, you know. Now, how do you feel at this moment? Well, like me personally or the character? Is there a difference? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess um, I think it I think it changes throughout the aria. I think at the beginning it's it's a little playful and then like he kind of remembers things and it kind of just gets more and more. What, what brings you into this? So what brings you into this? Well the, the uh, when the tenor walks in and asks about uh, when he says like, Oh, I'm looking for this woman and so I guess I'm just thinking about women. I'm just, I don't know. And what makes you get angry? I guess past experiences that I've had, maybe. 
Okay. I mean, that's kind of what I take from it. I, okay. I feel like no, no, that's good. Yeah. That's good. There's no, there's no wrong answers. What, you know, that's why I said I don't want to get into specifics because you know you, the, the the scholarly aspect of it you can study till you're blue in the but but right now it applies to how you sing. So, what I need from you is, how do you feel at this moment that gets you from this to this? I guess. I feel like there must have been some kind of pain in his life, like something, like something must have happened to him to get to him this way, because he's, as a character, as a whole, I feel like he's just a very, like, angry character. He's okay. almost like an... Okay, good, good, good. Character. Okay, anger, anger. Anger is a very strong emotion. Anger, love, um, fear, desperation, hope, these are all powerful emotions, adjectives, right? What is the most angry you've ever been in your life? You don't have to say. But, but can you can like can you pinpoint two or three finite examples where you've just been livid mm -hmm. and you've like kind of crossed that wire? Do, do, do you picture it? Yeah. Okay. Part of what happens, well, let's just play a little bit and you'll be able to see what's going on. I want you to close your eyes and I don't want you to think so much at, at first about the dynamics or anything else, but I want you to sing only that moment that you had where you were so angry. And I just want that to come out in your voice at first. Okay. I don't care if you screw up something, mess a word, you're gonna start to go in and out. Put your hand on your face a little bit. Now close your eyes and take your hand away. Like, like here. Do you kind of still feel where your hands have touched your face? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what it's gonna feel like. It's gonna feel like you're kind of going in and out. There's some kind of a connection, and if the hand gets too far away, you lose contact. And then the closer you get to it, that's how you're gonna feel with this emotion. You're gonna to start to feel this and singing on the emotion, and it's gonna to start to run, and then you're gonna say, oh God, I still have to sing. And then it's gonna feel like the hand's further away. And then you bring it back, and you get back on the emotion. That's how it's gonna to feel to you. Yeah. But just try it, it's a process. So start, I'll start and stop you a lot. Close your eyes, when you're ready, nod, but really focus on that moment where you were this angry person okay. and breathe you have to the intensity has to be okay that's what I need to feel Hart gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint. Lohn es ihr durch tausend Küsse, mag ihr auch durch Leben süße. Sei ihr Trester, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Trester, sei ihr Freund. Good, good, good. How's it feel? Angry. Good, good, good. Now, instead of harnessing the anger through the sound of the voice, Harness it through your diction. Okay. So the diction now becomes the link between the hand on your face and your hand here. Okay. It's 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 connected through air, and diction is the strings that it's it's stuck with. So so when you do that, it keeps the voice from kind of shouting through those things, and your vowels are always going to be more powerful, so it kind of obliterates, and you use the consonants, and pretty soon you kind of beat the vocal cords up. But you harness the emotion, chew through the words in a more legato. Because you can hear there's different parts of the music. There's a da -da 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 -da. there's a ba, ding da. So you want to use those. The diction should represent this. Can you play just the accompaniment for a minute, please? From the top? Yes. It's like somebody in their studio, their, their study, mm -hmm. right? Like if that was a soundtrack for a film, you know, it'd be it'd be smoky. There'd be a man with a, a pipe or a cigar, and he'd be he'd be walking around, and he'd be he'd be thinking, he'd be thinking of something, and just you know, yeah. kind of like The Godfather plotting to kill somebody, you know, because <laughs> you're a very powerful person. Yeah, that was me, mm -hmm. right? right? Now use the diction and imagine this this time alone where you can say this, but but keep contact with that 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 emotion you had at the beginning. And use the breath more. You know, the most powerful thing a man can do is breathe and not say anything. Because everybody waits. Yeah. Like right now. See, nobody <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is. You, you, you have the tension of the room. And when you need to hold an audience of 5,000 people, you just wait. 
you know, and then you have the moment. That little, that's all it takes, but it has to come, come from here. Wer ein Liebchen hat gefunden. Okay, good. You have to chew the words more. Say the words. Wer ein Liebchen. Wer ein Liebchen. Wer ein Liebchen. Yeah, chew, chew the words. Okay. Like, like, just vile in your mouth is okay. the stuff you're speaking about. Wer ein Liebchen hat gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint, lohn es ihr durch tausend Küsse, mag ihr also leben süße, sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Freund. Good. Now when you go down, don't, you still don't go into singer mode, okay? Okay. Now, you want to get technical on stuff, you start to go down, you need to have your higher partials connected. Right. Don't want to dig into your chords on the bottom. You want to keep it lighter as you go down. Because it's the, the worst thing you do as a bass is, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And you grind to get the connection of the chords. And, and it just it digs on them. What you need to do is just set more air and just keep it, keep it. It's going to seem lighter to you on the bottom. That one's going to cut more. You know, just let it let it spin. Use all of this now, and and don't be so. Try to keep the shape of the music. What is it? It's a mezzo piano at the beginning. Piano. Piano. Okay. Use all of this intensity with kind of a really imagine the guy in the study and, and put your hand on the piano so you can have some connection here, and and feel this. This is about you. This isn't a performance now. Feel this connection, and and say these words, just like you're saying it right here, right now, coming to you for the first time. Okay. Right there. Connect, connect, connect with your companies. Feel it, feel the music as it comes, and then just connect with it. The same dynamic, the same meter, the same pulse, and then right over it with the voice, using the diction. Diction is your surfboard. Wer ein Liebchen hat gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint, lohnt es ihr durch tausend Küsse, mag ihr all das Leben süße. Okay, it's, it's, I'm getting kind of the same sound over and over, which is fine. Now, could you kind of play that in a, in a, like a major happy key, the same kind of okay. thing? Transpose it up just a little bit. Just hear a little bit. Right? That's the difference in, you know, when you say you're coming in. It's like Rigoletto, you know. La la, la la, la la. If that was in a, a major key. La la, la la, la la. You know, it's a happy, goofy, it's how we would normally be, except boom, something happened. Okay? Contrary. Can you think of something where you've been the most elated in your life? Okay. Like, like you get some prize or you did something or you got a kiss from the hottest chick in school, you know, something that, that yeah, do you pinpoint that and do everything that we talked about and sing that with this music. Okay. And then switch it over as we get to the other parts. Okay. Okay? Try it. But close your eyes, focus it, keep your head, really feel a connection with your music. Ein Liebchen hat gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint. Lohn es ihr durch tausend Küsse. Okay, okay. So you're not selling me on it. Okay. It's like you're halfway there. Go, go with it. Okay. Right? Make this. Uh, I think you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, go there. Go there. <laughs> go there. Ein Liebchen hat gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint. Lohn es ihr durch tausend Küsse, mag ihr auch durch Leben süße. Sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Freund. Tralalera, tralalera. Tralalera, where does that come from? It's Italianish kind of thing. <laughs> what is it? Well, that's good. <laughs> I was gonna say happy, but oh sure. <laughs>
I mean, what is it? What does this come out of? It's here? just happiness. It's like a, I just saying random things because I'm happy. Okay, We're not happy, well, but, it's yeah. it's not this. It doesn't have to be like a Schubert piece. Tra -la -le, tra -la -la -le. Yeah. You know, like yeah. like you're not know, going down a gondola. You know, he's a powerful character. He's got different sides. There's different colors. When you're when you're when you're performing, you need to have a palette, and the palette is colored with happiness, anger, sadness, frustration, excitement. And, and no matter what your emotion is, you have to be able to draw upon that because on any given day, you're going to be anywhere from exhausted to completely happy to anything. And that's the emotion you have to go on and put it into your music. So you have to be able to tap into these. And if you can, they all meet in the middle. Have you ever been so mad at someone that you end up laughing and you get mad again, or your parents? Yeah. They, they get so ticked off and then they start laughing and they're still mad at you? It's because emotion is a wave, you know? And, and once that wave starts, it, like it crests in different points, but it's all water. It's, it's all a base feeling. It's a feeling of power. And, and the, the power has to, it just comes out. And how it comes out sometimes, you, you don't know. You don't know how it's gonna come out. And it's your job to be able to harness that and pull it into your music. So let it, let it be joyful. Be colorful. Yeah. You know, go into it again. You had some very good colors, and, and you had some nice tone with it and, and, and good spin. And, that, and then go, in, go into it. Try to go through the whole piece, and then as it gets into the angry thing, shift your mode. Shift, shift into that position. But then whenever that tra la la comes out, and that can be That happy, sounds like a laugh. And then it can be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know. But let me hear something. Okay. You know, you're always going to be right, but don't ever be wrong. You know? Okay. Wrong is not being anything. Yeah. No matter what you do, it's going to be right. You have five directions you can turn on a road. Every one of them will get you to a place, but standing in the place gets you nowhere. Whichever way you turn is right. But, but not going down the road doesn't, doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. So, so just take me down a direction. Okay. Become the artist. Close your eyes. You know, take charge, and I'll let you sing through the whole thing. I'll guide you, I'll say, do this, do this, sing, but base it off the emotions, color it with how you feel, and really play, start to take control of your music. Mm -hmm. You tell me what you're doing with it, okay? Through your voice and through your colors. I'll give you more hints, but I'm not gonna stop you, finish the whole piece, I'll talk, tell you things as you go through. And always diction is your key. Okay. Diction is always your key. Wer ein Liebchen hat gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint, lohnt es ihr durch tausend Küsse, mag ihr auch das Leben süße, sei Tröster, sei Freund, sei Tröster, sei Freund, sei Freund. Tra la lera, tra la lera, tra la lera, tra la lera. Doch sie treu sich zu erhalten, schließe Liebchen sorglich ein. Denn die losen Dinge raschen, jeden Schmerzling und naschen. Gar zu gern von fremdem Wein, gar zu gern von fremdem Wein, von fremdem Wein. Tra la lera, tra la lera, tra la lera, tra la lera. Sonderlich beim Mondenscheine, Freunde, nimm sie wohl in Acht. Oft lasch dein junges Herrchen, Kind und lobst das kleine Nerchen. Und dann treue gute Nacht, und dann treue gute Nacht, gute Nacht. Tra la lera, tra la lera, tra la lera, tra la lera. How's it feel? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, what's the difference? It was, it's just like being there, like yeah. being in the music. Well, physically, how does it feel? I don't know, I just, I don't know. Honestly. Well, now, now the thing you do after that, you, you go back and you look at your music and, and you see these, these, these little, can you play that section? The 
the best thing you can do, like listen to, have, have your accompanist run parts of it without the music. Mm -hmm. You know, Mozart, Mozart, Verdi, Verdi was a genius. Verdi would take a phrase and he would say, mentre gonfiarsi l'anima, mentre gonfiarsi l'anima. He would write it down and he would he'd play it on his piano and he'd, he'd walk around and he'd, how am I gonna say this, how am I gonna say this? Udino, Udino. Mozart would go for a walk and he would write the entire thing down. Yeah. It was here. He was the closest thing to perfect that has ever existed in the music world. And, and he, he didn't have to explain to people, this is what I mean, it was just, it was there. Mozart, you have to figure out from the back. You, get, you know why Mozart is the most amazing composer of all time? It's because he's the only known composer that wrote for a singer who couldn't sing. Schikaneder was an actor. And you can tell the way that he wrote for Schikaneder because he used the same tone, the same, the same music, three verses. Yeah. You know, because the guy was good with speech, he, was, he used his assets and then gave him an easy line to sing. Mm -hmm. Versus writing for baritones and Count and, and Don Giovanni. But you can, you can analyze Mozart. You can look at him and say, you know, how can, he, how can he do this? And you look at it through the back of the page and you, and you see what the guy was trying to do. Now as you take this, you apply the emotion to it, you apply your intent, and then you look at what he, he wanted to get from the scene. And pretty soon, you start to figure it out. All the different, the different, sounds like a little storm brewing. You know, and that's what happens in this guy's head. Until finally, ah, you know, and he's like, I win, yeah. ah. But the whole time, he's a plot, and Mozart thought out these guys, thought out these characters. We were talking the other day, Don Giovanni, he, he says, in the second act finale, they do the three dances. He says in Finca Dalvino, I want you to split them up. I want to separate the, the country girls, the peasants, the, 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 the nobles, so I knew how to, how to pick and court each one, you know. He was a genius. He tells you what you're looking for. So connect your music, connect your emotion to what was there on the page. Follow the, the markings and then really look at the, the cutoffs on the quarters and respect those. But the first thing is really have something to say before, you know, and the rest is fine tuning and doing the work. You know, but bravo, congratulations. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
what's happening here? Brief. Um, Su Su Susanna. Susanna. She lives in a small town in Tennessee, and she's been basically ostracized from the community. No, and she but right now, what's, what's happening right here? She's feeling lonely because no one wants to talk to her. Nobody, nobody will associate with her anymore. How old is Susanna? She's young, like 16, 17. Okay. Now, what, what do you think causes her to, to sing this right now with these words? Come back, come back. What? I feel like she really wants to be part of the community again. That's like her family. She's grown up with these people. And she feels like, like she's been unjustly, you know, accused of something. Okay, so she's feeling mm -hmm. lonely. Yeah. Loneliness, pain. Yes, pain. Pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get the feeling that you have an idea of what you want to do, and there's a wall between what you want to do and what you know you can do, and doing it. You know what I mean? Kind of, there's like a, because there's, I hear inside of you a vessel for great music. And there seems to be, I think that you can access it. And if you do, it'd be very, very special. Can you just put your hands on the piano and just kind of lay into it and relax a little bit? Imagine, if you will, you remember in Forrest Gump, you ever see Forrest Gump? Mm -hmm. Remember Forrest Gump when she wants to go run away and she's like, come, come for us. And mm -hmm. she's sitting there and they run in the cornfield and she's like, please God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far away, far, far away. Yes. Remember that? Yes. That's what I need to hear. I need to hear that, that innocence lost. And that's what I'm not getting, I guess is what I'm saying. I know that you have it here. But I'm, I'm not hearing it, and there's there's something in the way, and the the connection between the two. It's always tricky when you go into these emotional places because you your responsibility as an artist is to tap into very real emotions, and without knowing backgrounds of people that you work with, you can sometimes tread in very deep places, and it's it's dangerous. But I'm going to ask you to find a place where you feel absolute pain and vulnerability and you're going to be on the edge and if you break it's fine it happens it happens but that's the thing when you're on the edge and you're singing and you're into an emotion so great that it crosses into that dangerous water where you lose it your diction pulls you back and as you go through this you can already tell it's starting to well up a little as you go through this Use your diction to pull you back on track. And it's going to be very, very tough. But the sound that will come out of you is Susanna. You already can tell what I'm talking about. See, now that wall is starting to disappear. I know, I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I know. I told you guys. So if you cry, don't be scared. It's good. You'd be crazy if you didn't. If you weren't doing this now, you'd be a boring singer. Really, because it has to mean something to you. You have to be willing to stand up here and say, here I am, this is, this is my true life experience coming out in a song, and you're, you're feeling it. And it sucks. But it's also wonderful because when you leave, you'll be able to give them a secret that they will never know, and I will never know. And that's, that's where the, the line comes in of safety. I'll never ask you what it is you're feeling or thinking but I need to hear it. Now, I know that your voice is gonna be shaking, but I want you to use the power of this to sing through it. Close your eyes and let whatever happens, happens. Trust me, it'll be there, okay? Okay. You're doing a great job. It's already huge. The biggest thing also is the breath in, and trust that the music will carry you through this. But close your eyes and feel the piano. Hold this for support, this is, this is the support. Breathe and just let it go. 
And when, when, when you feel weak, get to the air. And when you feel the edge cracking, use the diction, okay? All right. sense to you. The trees on the mountain are cold and bare. It's already got the feeling of this place, this desolate place. That's why the words are so powerful. Use the words now. The words will pull you back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Pain is temporary. The film is forever. Just kidding. <laughs> strong. starting to feel now. You're coming back from that, yes. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now push it a little bit more and go back and forth. It's going to be a teeter-totter for a while. Now as you get more comfortable with it, sing more. Be strong. Susanna is a strong woman. All right? Mm -hmm. She's the only type of woman that can stand there and do what she's going to do in the rest of the opera and yet be vulnerable. And at the, at the end, she will look the devil in the teeth and kick him. <laughs> right? She's got all of these things. Close your eyes and just let me hear it, okay? Do you want to continue? No, no we'll start from the beginning again. And the breath is the most important, just really, I want to hear strength, I want to hear all of this stuff, and then dis de depict it all with the words, okay? Good, good. <laughs> How does this feel? It feels awful. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's for everybody in the world that says, hey, happy birthday, get up and sing us a song. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Just sing us something. This is the price you pay. Everything that you do is hard. The fun stuff is hard. It's actually harder to get those colors than it is with this. This is so real, it hits you like a truck. The, 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 the comedy is the hard stuff because you have to be exactly real. You have to make that goofy Ray Ramon character into Al Pacino. Mm -hmm. You know, this stuff, it, it's, it's very powerful and it's, it's, it's exact and it's instant. And there's the danger with that is exactly what you're going through. It, it, it crushes through you because you have to be able to open up those doors. There are people that, that will sing. I saw one woman sing. She got up 
And she walked on stage, which was kind of shorter, dumpier. And she basically, if I had to read a sentence from her walking up on stage, none of you people like me, think I'm beautiful, none of you will ask me out on a date, all you care about is that I can sing. She got up here, and then magic happened. For about four minutes and 20 seconds, that big chip on her shoulder fell off. And the reason that she got into singing came alive. And I wept. I wept. And as soon as she finished, the look in her eyes, the chip came back. And she plodded off the stage. And in that body lies the potential for one of the greatest opera singers in the world. That's why she has a career, but it's hampered by that chip. Now the chip comes in different forms, and when you go through your, your studies, you have to be in a practice room, and it sucks. But this is a very important part of, of becoming a singer and an artist, because you sing about things that other people have in their hearts, just like you're feeling. And when you sing, and when you go back into your room and you work this aria, and you, you get it to where your technique Technique, in my opinion, is the ability to communicate emotions without the vocal mechanism getting in the way. So that you can emote through diction and not have a technical glitch that chokes you up. And it's a razor's edge. So as you practice this, the other side of it is the happy side. It's the, the Susanna, if she found Bob and married Bob at the local bar and had three kids and, and was the, the, the homecoming queen and you know, that's the other side of Susanna. And that's what you also have to balance out. But this is the monster you have to tackle with this piece because this piece gets deep very quick. This opera gets deep very quick, quickly. It requires an adverb, sorry. And you have to be able to just jump right in there and tackle it. Now when you study this, it's going to be a process, but it's not going to be as strong as it is this time because it's in public, and the public actually makes it stronger. So use this when you go back to the piece and speak through it. Find these moments and discover for yourself two things, two things. What it is that's causing all these emotions in you, because these are the things that you can harness that will make you great. These things right now are what makes you different than everybody out here and every other singer in the world because they're your secrets. It's your palette. And that's what's wonderful. We all have our secret palettes. You know, there's only one person that knows my palette, and that's my wife, you know. But then I make her throw the kiwi. <laughs> so that's, that's, the, that's the thing. But it's, it's hard. So what you're experiencing is a huge step towards becoming an artist. Because you can sing, you have a great voice. But this is the wall that I was talking about. And I'm glad that it broke down because now, now you can really begin that journey. You know, just make sure that you be very diligent about it because you have a beautiful instrument, and and you can tell that you have a lot to say about yourself. You know, so I know it was really tough, but thank you. <laughs>
You don't care when you go into a doctor's office what happened to that doctor. You know, I, I, there are no kid gloves that I put on for myself or anyone else. There are no excuses. You get up and you do it. And the cool thing is that all you can do is your best. You know, you have to push yourself. You have to do things that other people can't do, your other colleagues can't do. And eventually, eventually, they start fading back. The last thing you want to be is a Verizon commercial where your network is 20 million people. You know, you want to be more like T-Mobile. You know, you're the only one with a bar and you can't, you know. That's your competition. And it really is. And, and it's, it's hard because you're out there and you don't. It's just like that. You don't have a signal. You don't have a network. You can't make a phone call and you can't connect with someone. And it's very tough. But that's what makes it good. And it's what's required for you. There's a, there's a sacrifice that you have to make. You know, an, an artist, I mean, look at all the great painters. Van Gogh, he cuts a zero. If that man was messed up, singers are not right in the head. <laughs> you're not. I did a show, I wore tights and white contacts and a tail and I was jumping around, like, come on, <laughs> you know? But that's what it takes because that's your job is to take someone into your world. And when they leave, when you get done singing Countess, when you finish Dove Sono, for, for sopranos out there, when you finish Dove Sono, you should have a feeling as an audience member, this is what it feels like when my husband doesn't touch me the way he used to. He doesn't compliment me anymore. I'm getting wrinkles. I don't even know if I'm beautiful. And that silence that you just heard is what people should feel until she says no. That's not what's going to happen. And then you take them on another journey. And then it all resolves when he asks for pardon. But that's your job. Do you know uh, the aria, uh, um, When Aura 
Pulsar. I've heard of it, but I don't know. Okay. It's from Cosi Fantuite. And he says, food. We don't need food. We can feast on love. And he's so, he's so in love with this woman. Now, say to mommy, it's kind of a weird song, right? Give me your take on it. Um, basically, a girl's in love with a shepherd boy, and she's kind of telling him, like, look at me the way that I'm looking at you and the way that I love you and the way that you look at other things. And I'm kind of making my decision based on that. But also, she's being fickle. She's yeah. like, it's like the habanera, right? Yeah. She's like, if you pick this flower, uh, you know, this won't be it, a, you know. So, but what is she really saying? Kind of like, she's like, he's not understanding her point of view. She loves him. Yeah. She loves him. You know, it's like that awkward moment when you're a kid and you like a girl and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, I, everybody gets tongue-tied, you know? I mean, I, I try to be cool, but still, I love up, you know? It's like, uh, it's hard to express how you feel. Now, when the, the good thing is, as long as you get the, the, the underlying meaning of what this song is, it can be wonderful. You have a really beautiful tone, you really do. And, but I lack, describe what a tenor is. The guy that sings the high notes. <laughs> oh, of course, that's a tenor and answer. The, Damn and it. the love audience. <laughs> <laughs> and all the I should have asked the baritone. Um, no, a tenor. <laughs> a tenor is. There's a reason. It's it's an exciting voice. It's a voice that 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 goes into the the the, the, the treble, and it, it it's exciting. It, it's it's something that, that that excites people because it's it's a high sound, and it's a beautiful tone. But baritones and basses are more warm and welcoming, and the bass is, is almost more fatherly demonic, and the roles are written such. But, but you need to accept that you need to be a certain way. And you have to present this song so that people, I mean, is there a song that a tenor sings that isn't about love? You know, because that's the thing that peaks you. That's what got me into singing. I heard Pavarotti sing Nessun Dorma. You know, and, and, and you see this look in his eye of this, this gladiator. But he's not fighting an enemy. He's, he's, he's just in love. And that's what I, I need to hear. I need to, you know, put, lean up against the piano because you've got to have a really good connection. But I need you to... You married? Mm-hmm. No, okay. Yeah, the, oh. the only finger that I fit on. Okay. So it's a warning. Right. Has there been someone that you love? I, okay. I need you to sing. I need you to sing to this person as if you just missed them on a train or a bus and you will never see them again. Because you... You, you don't know. Imagine, imagine a scene in a movie where you see them leaving and you think that that was it and as the train pulls away they're on the other side of the track. You know, they, they just couldn't, even though you weren't there on time, you, you screwed up. They, they couldn't get on the train because they just knew that you were gonna come. I need you to be a strong man and sing I love you. And let the voice, I don't care about dynamics, I need the voice to open up and be free. And I need to feel this core of emotion come out of you with a purity of tone. Okay? Okay. Breathe and sing. Strong. Close your eyes the whole time. and sing it and let the air spin. Okay. Spin the air through it and let it come out with the same emotion. Just let the air do the work for you, okay? Again. Big breath in. Good, one last time. 
last thing, every single phrase, I want you to crescendo either with espressivo or actual volume so that the end of the phrase finishes stronger than it does at the beginning. You know, and, and finish it with this on the end. Okay, big espressivo, all the way to the end. Go. You have some liberty. It gets slower into the phrase and then pick it up. Feel this. Let the emotion spin you. There, there's no strict tempo with the song. You have liberties where you don't with others. Let this play the play the the, the, the yeah leading into it. Okay, yeah um, here. This, this, no, not, not this, this. Okay. Every note, just spin it from the beginning and make sure your first note is spinning. Just hold, oh, oh, oh. Good, now just keep everything there and let it go and use the air to do it. Don't make it vocally increasing, but let the air spin it so it finishes the phrase. No, that's not how you started, that's not how you started the first time. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you know how to bow? You know what the difference of a bowing is? Yeah. You know the emotion that comes with an up bow or a down bow? Sort of. Sing, sing, bow, I want you to do the first one a down bow. Okay. Try it. Sit down bow. This is an up bow. There's more energy. And I want you to feel this and actually bow it as you. Setu mami, setu sospiri sol gentil. Okay? Bow it, bow it. But do it, do it the first time for real. Hold it up and, and espressivo. Really be strong with it. Setu mami, setu sospiri sol You look at one of those people take your mouth. No, it's your tenor. Sing. Don't don't worry. The, the voice will come up. Just let the voice go. Don't worry about technique. Open your mouth. The voice will just go. Trust me. If you think about it, it won't happen. Really, just just let the voice happen. Uh, the phrase before the, the yes. And and when you start on this. Because you're starting and you're preparing for the phrase vocally, one big line. And then to finish the line, if you continue to think that after you hit the top note, that the end of that phrase is going to be more powerful, the top note's just going to happen. It's going to pop out. If you try to gun it for the top note, it's going to go. <laughs> Aim for the phrase, shape of the phrase, and put the energy towards finishing it. Pause. Pause. Spin each note. And spin. Every note has to have vibrato, every vowel. 
Tickling you. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I was pointing at. You had to let it go. It kind of surprised you. Now let it go there, but let it go on purpose now. Okay. Don't be timid. Think of, think of, do you know the phrase kyoro pia kyoro? Mm -hmm. You take a nail and you, you drive it out with another one. Okay? It's, it's, it's lining it up so that you have this one phrase, okay? I want you to, 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 to take your finger and, and I want you to focus just on that. So every time, the, the, the speed of this, the end of the length of your arm is the whole phrase. And then when you finish, there's this elasticity so that you come back with the next phrase. And it's not jerky, it's not this, it's a fluid song motion. I want you to physicalize it so you can actually feel the tension of driving something like this. Okay. And then the next phrase, like this, so that you get the voice to go this way. That's why I want you to do that. Because the voice has to go this way. It can't go this way, this way, this way, this way. That's technique. The voice has to continue to go this way, and you have to project that way out. Okay? Try it. It's one phrase. You, you're already there. It's got to be slower. Push against my hand. Spin, spin the air, the air. Do that three times in a row. Sing your neck up and do it again. Sing while you're moving. Come on. Good. Good. It's a, it's a mix. You have to be loose, but you have to have it connected. The voice is going out, okay? It's, it's a good sound. Don't let it handicap yourself by pushing it back or being afraid. Get it out there. There's, there's, there's $100,000 on, on a technique to check. Take it. That's what you're doing it for, right? Do you really want to come here and, and what do you want to do? Be a banker? No, I'm serious. What, what's the point of being here today? You know? It's to be a singer, right? Because mm -hmm. I hope you're not wasting my time. You know? And I, it's your time. It's your career. I'm on my path. But you've got a check sitting here waiting for you. Go for it. It's work. She, she was up here exposing everything. Right? Work. You're not in a wall, you're just, you're just vocal technique. Let it go. They're all different things. They're apples and oranges. It's all the same. This is your price you're paying. Sing. Get over the technical thing. Okay? Good. From the beginning. From the beginning. Let it go. I want you to close your eyes and just sing everything out to the audience. Actually, no. See that little red box back there? Yeah. I want you to focus on that box. I want you to sing every single thing to that box. Everything. I don't want you to look at anything else. I will give you cues. I just want you to sing. Okay. Focus. Be strong. Don't be giddy. Just sing. Yeah. 
Alright, like your predecessors, give me a brief... Okay, I am Stefano the page boy to Romeo, and I am outside the Capulet's house, because he didn't come home that night. Um, so I'm standing there wondering, hmm, what have I been doing all night? And I'm kind of urging them to get out of here, flee, leave this nest of vultures, and go be with your turtle dove. Go be what? With your turtle dove. Okay, <laughs> okay. Right. How do you feel at this moment? Um, I'm a little bit curious. I think um, he didn't come home last night, and so I think those are putting thoughts of sex in my head. And I'm wondering, you know, hmm, what could they be doing? And I'm, I'm young, I'm probably like 14 or 15, so I'm feeling a little bit you know, excited and curious, and I really want this to work out for them. Um, because I haven't had this experience yet, so I'm sort of vicariously living through them. Coffee what does that mean to you, that when it changes into that? You mean the very beginning? Coffee um, Well, basically, how are, or how are you, you know, little turtle dove? Or, or no, but singing? I mean, the, how the, the music, when it changes to that. Oh, I'm why, singing. Why does it change? Singing, what does it change to that type of music at that moment? Oh, because at the beginning, I think that I am, um, I'm wondering, where did, where's Romeo? And then I sort of figured out, and I'm like, oh, there you are, you're with your turtle dove, and I'm sort of talking about their romance and their love at that moment. So that's sort of an amorous kind of, okay. I'm but referring how, to Yeah, I know, I know the logistics, but like how, why do you feel like the music ch changes from the beginning to the aria proper? Like, can you play the beginning of the aria? Bum, 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 bum. Listen to this, it's beautiful, I love it. That, what is that? If that was just it's, a it's, soundtrack playing while you were making dinner, what kind of food would you make? Um, something light, <laughs> something like uh, romantic, like the possibility of of love. There's yeah. a, a maybe pasta. Flowers, you have flowers <laughs> set. There's definitely flowers. Yeah. Right. You're setting. You're setting the mood. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like you're the one that comes in and you're the caterer. You put the flowers here, sprinkle the rose petals. Okay. Now, you have a very wonderful energy about you. I feel like sometimes you have a little cap here that needs to open up on the back of the voice. Okay. But I don't want you to try to sing. I just want you to like let yourself be open in the back and let the voice go up. Okay. Because when it comes up, it's like there's a ceiling on it. And you need to open it up. But I think to open it up, we can get you to sing on maybe a different emotion than you had going in and it'll be a little bit more serious. Um, you know, it's a fun thing, it's, it's done very well, but very rarely do you hear uh, a beautiful color of, for instance, Loretta's aria. There's nothing funny about that. Right. She's saying, Dad. Everybody plays a cutesy, cutesy, oh, mio babi, you know. You know, it's not supposed to be. Fine interpretation, but Try, if you will, just lean up against the panel if you had. Start the, start the thing, but, but really, you want something for someone. For instance, when we were working, it was very difficult. You wanted to, like, help. You, your soul right. was reaching out. You're like, like, I feel what she's going through. Right, yeah. Feel that for them. Okay. And let me hear it. Okay. Just start with the, the, the aria, aria proper. And it's the breath is the thing. It's just, it's spin it. You have a lot of straight tone. I need you, like we were talking about, yeah. spin the voice. Good, but you kind of like, she sets you up on this beautiful thing and you just kind of like. Okay? It's, it's got to be this. It's got to just. It's, 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 could you play it a little stronger and twice as fast mm -hmm. and see what you feel? Do you see? Yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Now, do you see how there's that invisible line that kind of connects it and it's all over the whole thing? Mm -hmm. It's do. like there's a, there's an arrow that gets shot over a battlefield and all this, and you're shooting this arrow. Okay, it's gotta just be like, 
It's got to be the sound of an arrow. <sighs> you know, it's just this, it's, and that's what you're doing, like Cupid, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. I need to hear the sound of that. Close your eyes and just spin it, this soft, beautiful, golden thread of a sound, but it's got to be, it's got to be a flavor, it's not a color. Okay. It's got to be a taste to it. Open the back. Okay. Open the back. Okay. Here, okay, look at me. Sing this a couple times and I'll let you go with it. Okay. Don't swallow the sound. Don't swallow the okay. sound. Don't yeah, swallow the sound. Maybe. Open the back. <laughs> this is. That's not. It's gotta have that. It's like a it's like a sigh, but it's 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 a sigh. Good, good, good. Now, now I want you to add another layer. I want you to vibrate like we did here, mm -hmm. keeping the same dynamic. I want S perceval at five Fs. Okay. S perceval at five Fs. And I want you to imagine yourself taking places, trading places. What would if I were there? What would happen? What would I do? Okay. 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 Keep your eyes closed and just sing this. What, co what color would you, what, 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 give me an adjective, like, or a noun, give me, I don't know, velvet crimson, or, you know, chocolate, or spice, something. Give me, a, give me something. Um, I really like chocolate. Okay. <laughs> you know that, like, Mexican chocolate, it has a spice Spice to, in it, yeah, absolutely. I need to hear that. Okay. But, but always to the end of the phrase, but do it with Espresivo, not so much with volume. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got there, but, but keep going. Go more, more with it. You know, it's yeah, everything. Okay. Use the di use the diction. Use the okay. use the words to okay. get you through. Really chew it, chew it. Okay. Look at me this time. Go. Finally got there. Yeah. You have to have that support for the beginning of the phrase. You're going up the front of a half moon. You need to be at the top going down. Okay. -da -da -da. You're going, ah. and it's always it's like to get to the point, you have to actually go backwards, so you're always going to be flat. Start at the top and then it's just an easy slide down. Okay. Okay? And you have to have that at the top from the very beginning of Kofiti. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's space. Sing that note again. Yeah. Spin it. Yeah, spin it. Thin it out, narrow it, throw it in the back, flip it over. Spin it. You good? No, go right on Kofiti. With Kita space. Good. See, see how it's not so high. You're not like looking at an arc. It's it's already set because you're already set for the high note. It's you went from that to walking on a bed of roses. Now you're not stomping. Right. Okay. The other way, you're always going uphill. Now you're just you're you're gliding, right? I'm already there. Yeah. It's like yeah, crouching tiger, singing woman. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sing the note again. Yeah, it's worked. Hey, how's Cam? He's sweating. She's crying. He's shaking. <laughs> no, no, no. See, and again. Oh, wide, wide. Sing. 
Don't do it with your eyebrows. Mm, I'm so Just tired. spin the air. Just hold. This is what this is. This is the other part. Hours and hours and hours and hours of figuring this stuff out in the practice room. All the stuff we're talking about. This, this, what, this is what you pay for. This is when your education comes in. So you have rooms that you can use. Play, work, 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 work. So you can do this. Sing it two more times and then we'll go through the beginning of the art. Okay. Coming down, the first note, aspirate the second note of the turn. It's the changing of the bow. Do it really slowly for me. Second note, ba ha ha ha. Va, tra, no, va ha ha. Va, ha tra. Next one. Va, ha, 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 ha. Yes, it's it, you're rebowing it. Okay. And if you if you if you train yourself to do that correctly, it's going to clean up the note because it starts to get flat on those runs. Okay. So you want da ha 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 because to energize it, you have to aspirate it, which engages the air and it helps you get the pitch back up. Okay. Ba ha 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 ha. Try it, try it now a couple of times. Okay. But really clean. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to, you're looking like a. That's hard! Should I just. Okay, okay. No, you should just sing it. No! You're going to Every every bit. Yeah. See, see. Yeah. Yeah, you're faking it. <laughs> no, you trust me. You get up there with Muti, and he's got perfect pitch. Out the door. Out the door. This is what they pay people sixteen thousand dollars a night for. Mm -hmm. If you can't sing the right note at the right time with the right word. You know, mistakes happen, but this is why you're training. You know, you're never going to, like I said, you're never going to have a perfect night. If you do, it's always going to be a dress rehearsal. <laughs> you're going to just go, damn it. I'm serious. I told Deb, I'm like, oh, I wish everyone were in your apartment yesterday. It would have been great. I'm like, yay. <laughs> but, you know, that's what happens. But you practice. You practice to get consistent. Take it and work on it. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. But but you see what I mean though about the keeping it thin and starting from that higher place that we don't have to reach for it. You know, <coughs> take your hand. You, you you want this to happen. You don't want this. Absolutely. It's easier to come off the top. <coughs> okay. Right. All right. Nice job. Thank you. I want to thank you very much for playing, Robin. Thank you.
I get you guys for about a half hour. I hear your voices. I try to pick things out. If it, it, this, if it doesn't coincide with what your teachers tell you, throw my stuff away. Your teachers work with you all the time. I hear you for a brief moment, and I'm gone. You know, So your teacher is the one that you should listen to. But you, you, you all have great voices. You all have, really, I was very surprised for not having a, an opera program here, for, for not having, you, you're above a lot of places that do. And I'm very, very impressed. But you have to work. You know, the, the, the one thing I can say that I've done is I, I believed in something and there wasn't anything that was going to get in my way. I didn't need an opportunity. I needed a chance to work hard. And the opportunities came to me. I needed a piano that I could learn to play piano on, that I could learn music. You have those things here. You have the tools that I didn't have. There are no excuses. The rest is figuring it out. You can't expect people to just plant a seed in you and it just grows automatically. You know, you might as well go out in the garden and just throw a bunch of seeds on the grass and expect them to bloom. This is your field. This is your instrument. Those notes are your seeds. But you have to nurture them, you have to care for them. You have to work so much in the beginning so that later on you can come to things much faster than other people can. And it takes time. Dum ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum. Tune every note. Ha 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 ha. A thousand ways. I still do that all the time in, in just years. I look back and like, wow, I was talking to Deb. It's six years, six years since I sang some of this stuff. I can finally figure out a couple of things. Six years. Another 26, and maybe the whole thing will be where it would be. But that's, that's why you, you either get better or you get worse. You know, you're here. Ask yourselves why you're here. You know, I feel like, like you want to sing, but I don't feel like you need to sing. That's what I have to have. That's what you should ask of yourselves. Because whether you want it or not, the audience needs you to sing. It's your job. There's a reason that your instructors are fighting for your program here, trying to get you funding. It's because you have a valuable place in the world. You're offering something that doesn't exist. You can take people's souls to another place, even your own. But you have to work. It's a responsibility. It's like taking an oath as a lawyer or a doctor. I do solemnly swear that I will do everything in my power to serve my music to the best of my ability. And that's what you have to do. Because if you're not, you're a fake and a fraud, and you stand for all of the other misconceptions about our art form and our profession. You know? But it's a wonderful gift. You guys are great singers, and I really appreciate everybody for the time and had a wonderful time here. And really, congratulations. I know it was tough, but you were wonderful, and you probably had the biggest breakthrough of anyone. And um, I've gone through it many times. I got broken once. I was singing Figaro. And they brought someone in, and you know they told me they were going to pull me off the roll and everything, and uh, I wasn't ready. And then they had some guy come in, and they made me sing through some arias, and my voice cracked, and I was trying to get through it without crying. And I'm some 30-year-old man, you know. And then he left, and I lost it for like three hours. It's the only time they ever broke me singing. But came back, and I sang the heck out of that show. You know, it, it's. It's got to knock you back so that you can figure out what it is that'll make you better. Anyway, thank you very much. I really appreciate it.
This program was made possible in part by a grant from the UCF Department of Music, training tomorrow's performers today.